Hello, and welcome back to the Spring Onion Properties YouTube channel, where we talk about everything related to real estate, business, and personal finance. In today's video, we are going to cover how to get started purchasing U.S. Treasuries from the Treasury Direct website. First, let's scroll down and click on Open a New Account. From here, we need to make sure we have our tax ID number, valid email address, bank account, and routing numbers handy. Now we can go to the bottom of the screen and click on the Apply Now button. This takes us to the account type screen. Here we can select if we want to open this account as an individual or as an entity. In this demonstration, we will select individual and scroll to the bottom of the screen and click submit. This takes us to our application screen where we will be required to enter at least our first name, last name, tax identification number, date of birth, street address, city, state, zip code, phone number, email address, and banking information for the bank account we would like to link to our Treasury Direct account. Once all that has been filled in, we will go to the Taxpayer Identification Number Certification section towards the bottom which is highlighted in orange, and there we will click the checkbox. From here, we will scroll down and click the blue Submit button. On this page, we will be prompted to select an image. Then add a caption. Finally, we will click the blue Submit button. On this last page, we will be required to enter our password. Retype our password. Enter our password reminder. Then on the bottom third of the page, we must answer three of the security questions before finally clicking the blue Submit button. We have now successfully opened an individual Treasury Direct account. Now we will need to go to our email to retrieve our unique alphanumeric account number. We will need to use this unique alphanumeric account number along with our password and one-time security code to log into our account. Now we will go back to the Treasury Direct homepage and click the Login button. On this page, we will click the Next button to begin the logging in. Here is where we will enter our alphanumeric account number that we retrieved from our email. Once we have that account number entered, we will click Submit. We will now need to go to our email to retrieve our one-time passcode. Once we have our passcode, we will enter it here and then click Submit. On this page, we want to verify our image and caption. Enter our password. And then click Submit. This brings us to our account homepage. From here, we can check our balances, see if we have any messages in our inbox, check our account activity, and more. To begin purchasing securities, we will click on the Buy Direct tab at the top next to the My Account tab highlighted in orange at the top left. Here we get to select the type of asset we would like to purchase. In this example, we will select bills under Marketable Securities, then we will go down and click the blue Submit button. On this page, we can select the product term and the date of the auction we wish to purchase from. After we've made the selection, we are satisfied with we will scroll to the bottom. Enter our purchase amount. Select our source of funds from the drop arrow. Select whether or not we would like to automatically reinvest this money after maturity or not. Then we can select a destination for the last maturity payment to be delivered. Once we are satisfied with our entries, we will click the blue submit button. From here, we will go ahead and review our order. If we are satisfied with everything, we will click the blue submit button in the bottom left to place the order. If we want to see a list of all our pending purchases, we will go to our investor landing page. Click on the Manage Direct tab at the top. Then under Manage My Securities, we will click on View slash Delete a Pending Purchase slash Reinvestment. We can then click if we want to see a summary list. A Calendar View and then click Submit. Here we can see a list of all of our pending purchases. This is also where we can click on the security we want to manage and either view or delete the order. That's it for today's video. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we will try to answer them. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.